Yeah, we store, we it's get it from... It's brought in here. Right. I think this should suffice for 15 days supply. Okay. Every batch is tested, and only after they approve the quality control lab is when it's used for production. Okay, so here we have it. This is the ashwagandha root. Now it's the thickest part and the long part that they've taken here. There's a lot of thin strips that they disregard, but this is the best part of the root that KSM 66 uses of the ashwagandha. So ashwa stands for horse and ganda stands for smell, meaning it could possibly smell like a horse, but more so that it gives you power like a horse. Okay, so this is what happens to the root next. It is put into this large vat, as you can see, with clean water, and this is where the root is now cleaned. Once that has been cleaned, it is then put onto this drying tray, and once it's placed on there, it's going into a dryer that you'll be able to see behind you in a second, and it gets dried for anywhere between 10 to 12 hours. So this root goes through two washing processes. The first one, once it's picked at the farms, and the second one here. Once the ashwagandha root has been pulverized, it gets put into this powder. You see that very fine powder here. So now it's ready for processing. So it's in water in these yeah, in now? Water, yeah, yeah, it's mixed with water. And right. it's soaked in water for a few hours. Eight hours. Eight hours. Eight hours. All right. And then once it, it, it's in here for eight hours, it goes into here? No, it then goes up into processing, to the main reactor. So it's mixed, they mix it in water and then yeah, the water gets extracted, extracted out of here. So this is where the fresh milk is put every day. Now, part of the ashwagandha process is cleaning with milk, all right? And this is where the milk is stored, at five to 10 degrees, okay? Before it goes into the processing and part of that cleaning process. All right, so we come here. This is where the milk and the water meet together with the ashwagandha. So that's where it's really put together and concentrated and clean. And then if you come over here, this is where it then leaves that facility and it comes to these plants to ferment. Right, so this is the fermentation process. There's nothing in here at the moment, but when it comes, that's where it stores and that's where it ferments. Once it's gone through the fermentation process, it comes over here, and this is where the milk and the water is extracted from the ashwagandha. There's still a little bit of moisture in there, which we will see now, which they're put into trays, and it has to go through another drying process after that. Right, so this is now the ashwagandha dried and it's in a kind of solidified form here now. I'm going to try it. Oh, that's hard. Okay, so that dried, solidified form of the ashwagandha that we just see now is again put into the pulverized machine and once it's gone through this, here is a finished product. It goes into the powdered form that we all know. This just then goes through a, like a sieve, one more sifting process before you have the actual finished process. This is the very, very last final process. After it's gone through that pulverizing machine and filtered one more time, this is the last of the filtering process put into bags, which then gets put into containers and then shipped out. So you will come in and, and do a complete yeah. analysis of yeah. each batch? Yes, after completing the analysis, after approving the batch, it will be sent to the bonded right. storage room. Okay, got it. This is what like an intermittent storage, like 
once it is packed, it's stored here for five days until the entire suite of testing is done. And after the entire testing is done and the quality control approves the batch, is when this is shipped out from you. Right. And if there is a problem, if there is some parameter where something is wrong, then this batch is rejected. We don't ship it out. Got it. Even if there's one, one of them is bad, the whole batch. It can be, yeah, one entire batch of whatever, thousand kilos. Right, right.